serious, Sarah. I'm not going anywhere. You can go alone. I'll be at home. No, we are going together. I can't leave you at home, so you'll be thinking about everything. Because that's what I need now, Sarah. I need to think about what I'm going to do with my love life. You don't have to. Let's just get out and have fun. You are going to forget about it all. There's no way I'm going to forget about it. It will still be there. So I just need to live with it. But I wanted us to go together. It's going to be fun. I know it's going to be fun, but I don't want to. I'm tired. I just want to rest. You are lying. You are not planning on rest. You are planning on crying and blaming yourself for everything. Why should I cry because Dan's mom warned me? Look, you are not making things easy for me. Just leave me alone. I won't and since you won't go with them, but we both stay at home. You don't have to stay back because of me. Please go and have fun. Just bring back some cake for me. How will I have fun when I know you are home and not happy? I'll be fine and you know this is something I have to deal with alone. I'm going to feel worse if you're here and not at the party. If you say so, I believe. But you have to help me get dressed. Sure I will. Maybe you are going to find yourself a man there. Who knows? But I'm not going there for one. I'm going there to have fun. That is all. She must be back from school. I hope she's doing fine. But she should have called when she got back. That was the agreement. Why has she not called me yet? Why is she not picking up her calls? Is she busy or is she sleeping? Be calm, Dan. I'm sure she will call you. Maybe she's busy and left the phone somewhere. You know how women can be with phones. They drop them anywhere and then they are doing something else. It's been an hour and she hasn't called me back. Is she that busy or does she not want to pick my call? Did I do something wrong that she's angry about? We were fine in the morning. She was happy. I just hope she's fine. I need to go and see her. Then I can be at peace that she's fine. But I don't know why she's not picking up my calls. Mom, I just want to rest. Let's not talk about Dan. Please, you and his mom should not meddle. He's a good young man and you once liked him. There's nothing wrong in considering that option now that you're back. Mom, like I said, I'm not interested in that for now. I just want to rest. You don't listen, but I have said my piece and you should put it into consideration. Sister, oh my god. Gary, look at you. You're looking so good. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Look at you. Abigail, I'm sorry. I could not come and pick you up. It's okay. I know you're busy. That's why. I miss you. You look even beautiful than the last time I saw you. Thank you, bro. And you're not looking bad either. Very cute. That's the perfect word to describe you now. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Sis, I started thinking you didn't want to come back home again. Same thing I told her. Mom, you know I missed you too, and I wanted to finish what I was doing. Here I am now. It's good to have you back. We have a lot of catching up to do, and I hope you got me the stuff I asked you for. Sure, and I also got something for your babies, because I know you don't have one, but like five with this cute face. Who told you that? But don't worry, I will tell you all about it. I hope you don't have plans for going back anytime soon. I don't know yet. If I'm not enjoying it here, trust me, I'm going back. You should tell your sister that she's not young anymore and she should get married instead of traveling. Mom, don't start this conversation again. I just got back. I'm speaking the truth. You're no longer a baby. I'm sure your brother will tell you that. I'm going to leave you two to catch up. Sure, Mom. There is a lot to talk about. Finally, Mom won't kill me with this whole marriage talk. I thought you said Gary and Dan were coming. Yes, I'm sure they are on their way. But let's order more drinks before they get here. I have a feeling that the two of them might not come. But let's still order the drinks and fish. I was sure about Gary, but I don't know about Dan. You know Dan will not come here no matter what we say to him. <laughs> he hasn't forgotten how we got him so drunk that time. And also about that lady he was with throughout. I remember Dan is too innocent for this kind of life. That's why that girl broke his heart back then. But this was not our fault. We just wanted to show him the life and how he could enjoy himself instead of being with someone who ended up hurting him. It's okay if they are not coming. Let's enjoy ourselves. I'm looking for a new catch, guy. Same here. I'm not leaving here empty handed. You're being selective. Do you know how many catches I showed you, but you said no to all of them? Because they are not my type. Don't worry. Once I see my type, I will let you know. Jerry, look. I think I just found my cash. See her sitting over there. Go and shoot your shot, man. She looks beautiful. Yes, she is. You weren't lying when you said this place is where you can find fresh caches. I hope she's home. I don't even know why she's not picking up her call. No one is answering. It seems like they are not at home.
Who is there? I'm coming. Becky, it's me. Dan, what are you doing here? I don't want to see you, Dan. I've been calling you. You're not picking up my call. What did I do wrong to you? You did nothing wrong, Dan. I just don't want to see you. Please leave. At least open the door and let us talk. I don't know what I did to you, Becky. You did nothing, Dan. I just want to be alone. What part of that don't you understand? Every part of it. We spoke in the morning and we were fine. Now you don't want to talk to me. At least tell me what I did wrong so I can apologize to you. Just go away. I won't be living here until you open the door and talk to me. Then you can stand here for all I care. I'm going to sleep. I'm sorry, babe. Please open the door and talk to me. If not, I'm going to be outside here and I won't leave. You know she's not lying, right? There's nothing wrong with you getting married. I did not say there's anything wrong. And every girl dreams of getting married. But not now. What is wrong with it happening now? I can't wait to be an uncle. You and mom are the same. I'm just coming back home after a long time. And what you two are talking about is marriage. Mom asked me to talk to you about it. And that is what I'm doing. So there's nothing bad about getting married. You two are just suggested that because you think I'm going to run back soon, right? Yes. If you do, who knows when you'll be back again. I don't have a plan on doing that soon. But if you and mom start pressurizing me, I'll have to go. I'm not pressuring you. I'm just saying it's okay if you do. You are no longer a baby sis. And you know that I support you always. I know that. You're asking me to get married. And you didn't even ask who mom wants me to get married to. What? Mom asked someone she wants you to get married to? Not like she wants. She's suggesting Dan. Dan? Why? Why are you asking me that? You should direct that question to mom. Why does she want me to marry Dan? Wish me luck. There's no need for that because you have all the luck and the charms on you, man. Hello, Angel. You look so glamorous and beautiful. <sighs> Thank you. I'm flattered. I was sitting over there with my friend and I was drawn to you. I don't know what is it about you that brought me here. Are you sure it's not because of my charm or beauty? After all, you just said I am beautiful. Why is such a damsel like you sitting here all alone? What makes you think I am alone? Well, you're not alone because I'm here with you. You are interesting. Well, you shouldn't go anywhere alone with such a beauty of yours. You need someone to be with you. It's nice of you to think I am beautiful, but stop flattering. Be please. I was actually supposed to come here with a friend of mine, but something came up. That was nice. Fate has destined a new friend for you. What do you want? Are you obsessed with me? Can't you see that I need some space? Is this the first time you've fallen in love? What do you mean? What do I want? What do you mean I'm obsessed? Are you okay, Becky? Or is something wrong? I'm fine. I just, I don't just want to see you. I came here because of you. I waited outside for minutes. I left important things because I wanted to be with you. Are you not hearing me at all? I told you I need some space. Just go, please. How much space do you need? Is this space enough for you? I thought you were better than this and matured for this. Oh, <laughs> I am mature that your mom is going behind your back and making decisions on your behalf. Becky, open the door. I don't understand you. What do you mean? What do you want? And what do you mean I am obsessed? Becky, open the door. This conversation is not over. And I am not going to leave here until you tell me what brought my mom into this conversation. I know you can hear me. Okay, I'm sorry. Open the door. Let's talk. Becky, what's wrong? Why are you crying? If I said hurtful words to you, I'm sorry. I was offended. Why won't you open the door for me? Even when I know I did nothing, you won't tell me what I did. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You didn't do anything to me. I just took what your mom said so personally. My mom? You know my mom? You've met my mom? How? When? I met her today. Sorry, she met me today. Introduced herself as Mrs. Jessica, Dan's mom. Why? Why would my mom come to see you? Are you sure? Do you know what? Just go home to your mom. I've cried enough today and I want to be alone. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I promise you. I won't let anything happen to you. Look at me. I promise. Dan, do you like Dan? You're not serious. I don't even know who Dan is anymore. But I can get to know him. I want to believe you're not saying that to me. Are you on this with mom? Let me tell you a secret. What is that? Dan is cute. I know he's cute, but I don't know him and I don't think we should talk about him again. I just want to rest. Nah, okay. You can say no to not talking about him, but not knowing him, that can be fixed. You're unbelievable. I can have a video call with him now and introduce you to him. I'm not interested in this joke of yours. Do I look like I'm joking? Look at me. I can call him. He's a nice guy. Let me not lie to you, Gary. I'm just done with men.